Hey, how's it? Please go check out the previous parts to gauge your bearings. Let's see, Lena. Ah, when I do that, I don't have to deal with that anymore. Okay, so I'll just stand at this distance. Sit at this distance. I was busy talking about blessed are merciful, right? Blessed are the, are the merciful, for they shall receive mercy. And how it is that Charles Spurgeon explained it ever so excellently in his um, sermon on the Mount sermons, right? That are all on YouTube. Please go check them out. And then now that you are merciful, you like now that you you have um that judgeless spirit in the sense that you recognize the importance of repentance in mankind but you don't harshly try to annihilate and extinct them because of the sin that they're walking in but rather you're trying to lovingly rebuke them away from sin to draw them close to christ now that you see your own pitiable state that has been rescued you therefore have mercy on the pitiable states of the other people that they might be rescued and it is at that stage only at that stage only are you then one who ha has a pure heart you then only graduate to having a pure heart or so that is pleasant in the sight of the lord to gaze upon your prayers when you pray to god are a fragrance in his nostrils the prayers of the righteous are fragrance to god but the prayers of the wicked are an abomination to emmanuel so when your heart is pure um that's when you shall see god god says forgive uh, uh, forgive lest you should not be forgiven right so being merciful is to forgive other people and give them a chance over and over and over and over and over again and that is your state of forgiveness and only at that stage when you have striven to purify your garments and been like those virgins abai five that have got oil in their lamp only then shall you see god so as we go through these beatitudes i'm i'm, I'm doing this to help you try and figure out if I'm, I'm born again are you saved south africa you who accuse me of thinking myself loftier than the rest of you um in my persecution i must have done this to myself and i keep on saying i am walking in biblical christianity i know that i know uh, that i know and so for me to be so rejected in a country that has got 80 percent christians on the ground according to stats essay um is for me to either be a liar or for this country to be sick and not know that they're sick they are laodicean and sardian in nature they have a reputation for being alive even though they are dead i should not be this persecuted not in this country and yet i am so i am pleading for my life yes but i am also pleading with a nation that calls itself gods but is not is however praising him with their lips albeit their hearts being far from him as i have been going through the beatitudes up to this point go and listen to charles spurgeon can you identify in yourself a person that was first contrite in spirit following which you mourned over your sin following which you then will be enabled inevitably to inherit the earth for you've been humbled following which you then sought after christ in his word dug deep saw your pitiful state and so therefore became merciful to those who are in your pitiful state and now you're pure in heart and so therefore only therefore now are you in, in any position to inherit eternal life once the rapture happens or once you die or you know yeah whatever comes first are you ready to die are you ready to die or be raptured guys should somebody rock up in your office building and put a live round in your skull because they are um, a murderer are you gonna go home to heaven and with, with 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 a certainty that is secure the bible says you must strive to make your calling and election sure guys you need to check to see if you're in the faith and there are plenty of tests in the scriptures that help us get there okay blessed are the pure in heart for they shall see god and then once you are in a position to die safely all right um at that stage then uh you will be a peacemaker the bible says if it is possible strive to live at peace with everybody you will try to reconcile man to god you will try to reconcile man to the prince of peace and you will also try to reconcile um man to each other you will be that dude that is an intermediator you will be that guy that is known as the guy or in the family because you are godly you have wisdom solomon was a uh, a peacemaker in the sense that people went to him from far and wide to try and find solutions because he was so wide he sought the lord's face for wisdom and it is written in god's word that the, the, the fear of the lord is the beginning of wisdom and knowledge of the holy one brings understanding solomon had wisdom down do you understand he saw god and so was made a mediator in his land he was so wise that he was able to um solve some of the most complex issues with relative ease like fixing a rubik's cubes rubik's cube in 15 seconds that's just like discombobulated all over the show that was solomon he was given peacemaking power mediating power the people of this world that don't know god that don't fear him are trying to foster peace but it's a peace that is actually not there 
they will say peace and security peace and security and suddenly calamity will, will, will hit them hard not you cannot foster peace in the human race unless you understand righteousness to foster peace in an environment where there is no righteousness is to foster tolerance and to foster tolerance in an environment where there is no uh, honor of God's law is to foster rebellion against God God of which is the true peace giver so if God is unhappy with you there can never really be any true peace so the peace the calls for peace here on earth are very compromised in the sense that um, they want people to just accept each other's sin just like say come on like it's a, a woman has a right to her own body let her have an abortion uh, you know, I have a right to my own body. I will kiss whoever I want to kiss. So I'll kiss a girl and I'll like it. I will do like Katy Perry because I subscribe to the LGBTQIA. I, I identify as one of those um letters in the acronym. So I'm just going to do whatever. And everybody else that goes against it, you are intolerant and you are bigoted and you are frankly just not except Carabo. Get, get thee behind us, Satan. Calling a true believer of the Lord Jesus Christ the actual Satan in the room and so therefore attempting to call me uh, attempting to make out of me as one who is casting out Satan by Satan they are trying to foster peace but in their own strength and in their own carnality they want to maintain themselves in their darkness and in wanting this they will one day say peace and security because they've all helped each other sin nicely but then suddenly calamity will slap them where is this calamity gonna be raining from the Holy One who is the only one who gives true peace he is going to lay the planet waste he is going to lay it destitute barren following which he's going to start from scratch and build it again in the millennial reign of Jesus Christ Christ. and there you will know true peace and true holiness and true reconciliation you will know what for real what it looks like um so therefore uh the 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 the, the, the peacemakers are sons of god in the sense that they try to restore or reconcile man to each other in holiness as they reconcile man to god we try to make people love the law of the lord that they meditate on day and night that they might indeed know what it's like to have true peace peace of whom peace of which is a fruit soul of the holy spirit so so once you are pure in heart and see God, you try to reconcile man to God and um, you will be called the sons of God. Blessed are the peacemakers for they shall be called the sons of God. When you try to reconcile man to God in holiness, you are going to be known as a child of the living God. And ultimately this will also be revealed in the millennial reign of Jesus Christ because we are going to be known. When right now creation groans to see us revealed, we also groan inwardly to be revealed, to be restored to our king. There will be a time when don't nobody underestimate who is born again among us. Like right now i'm suffering because my nation has rejected me and the word that i come with and there are so many people professing christ that are embraced and everybody's like why we're we not only the only one who's saying embrace something must be wrong with you and i'm like guys look i can't speak for everybody that is uh, super duper embraced right now i don't know what their lives look like privately but all i know is that as a as a south african in so as a christian in south africa i am persecuted strangely in a land that should not be persecuting saints so either I'm messed up and I've got delusions of grandeur or there is some hidden sin dwelling in the rest of this African Christian church that is making Satan comfortable to leave them alone. I'm not left alone. Well, when the rapture happens or at the second coming of Christ, whenever it is that wheat and tares are going to be separated, it's going to be clear that who was saved and who wasn't, who belonged to the turn of uh, to, 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 to the fold of the turn of God and who didn't. So essentially being a peacemaker trying to reconcile man to God, which is what I'm doing right now, I will ultimately be called a daughter of God. Even though right now there might be people creeping their foreheads on some like you will be humbled devastated and humiliated by the fact that there are certain people upon the rapture happening for instance i.e there are others that are got that got left behind that you were more prepared to listen to than me because their lives looked as if though they were blessed of god whereas the lord says blessedness looks like this god says guys perpetually he keeps on saying in the scriptures guys this is what blessedness looks like please do not think with your carnal earthly mind blessedness looks like this he has prescribed and 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 advised and helped you to understand in his word what blessedness looks like and yet you have gone on to equate blessedness with material success or have you you cannot do that for crying out loud because it is clear in the scriptures that rather blessed are those who upon being peacemakers sometimes even get persecuted let's move to the next part